Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 358. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and I'll be flying solo this week. So, uh, let's see. Let's get right into the news. Give me a second. Alrighty then. So, in the news, Wilson Sporting Goods pick up the pony license in Asia. That's interesting. So, let's see. Uh, Wilson, you, you know that sports brand, uh, mostly known for balls and so on. Um, they're mostly known in the Tom Hanks movie Castaway, where Tom Hanks befriends a volleyball and named it Wilson. Yay! So, this one confuses me. So, what I mean by that is that they have a variety of balls here from footballs to s- basketballs to volleyballs and soccer balls yes and i'm just thinking and pondering here and just thinking like why did wilson brought the purchase and it's like why in china or why in southeast asia or just in asia in general because most of Asia, we play basketball and soccer. A bit of volleyball sometimes, yes. But American football, especially from the NFL, we don't even touch that. The closest we can get to that is rugby. And I think rugby has different kind of balls. So, yeah, this confuses me. And the thing is, is this for your local retailers or your local buyers who want to buy stuff from Taobao or AliExpress and so on is this for them or is this for the Walmarts and sporting goods stores because um, looking at this here right now um, a ball like a football is uh, 95 yuan and I'm just thinking like is that for one unit or is that for a whole bunch you know so uh you know i'm not gonna count it now (coughs) but yeah um this kind of confuses me a bit but hey um sometimes corporate do (laughs) sometimes corporate do stuff that i am confused so let's just hope that they think this is a um nice purchase or a good business decision and let's look at them balls so uh, for the football you do have this really nice looking ball where it has rarity and pinky on it and it seems that you can play it with a baby or so on and you can even play it in kids league yay why then you have basketballs and they even offer you some kind of way to carry it and a pump. And I'm not 100% sure what this is. This could be some kind of rope to put your balls in. And also volleyball and so on. I, I think the rarity one looks really nice. This one here. Yeah, that that looks really, really nice. So, yeah. Other than that, I, I got no idea. Like, this is strange for me. This this is strange. Like, I'm not into sports as much, so I I, I don't really get it. But besides, but besides that, like, if you are a collector, this probably would be well, and you might want to buy one or two. And they also have it for Transformers, but I haven't seen any of it except for the yellow one on the screen right now. But that looks like Bumblebee, I guess. Yeah, probably. Who knows? And, well, that's the news for this week. And so, let's see. uh, Let's go into my favorite topic, which is what have I been doing with my week? So, what's going on with my week is that um, work has been piling. But I've I've gotten through that, so that's no problem. Other than that, uh, I've been doing, what you would call this, um yeah i just remember yeah i I played a game i played a game uh said game is resident evil 2 remake and 
I have to say that Resident Evil 2 on the PlayStation 1 was never really my jam. I, I, I was confused with how it played. And after hearing things like, oh, the they didn't have an auto-aim because they wanted to make it more difficult for the Westerners and so on. And yeah, I, I think that turned me off on the game. But uh, playing it now, I still feel the dread of the original where you have limited uh, inventory space, the zombies are kind of hard to kill, uh, and Mr. T or Mr. X is kind of a really, really big threat, especially in this one where he just chases after you and you need to outrun him. So yeah, uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake has been a lot of fun. I I'm still going through it and I haven't finish it and like I mentioned before the game itself I didn't buy it I borrowed it from a friend but now after playing it for a bit I have a strong feeling that I want to buy this game this game is worth the cash so yeah uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake has been a lot of fun and if you're wondering about what happened to Devil May Cry 5 that game is a lot of fun I bought it on the first day, played through multiple times, and yeah, I, I say that I highly enjoyed the game. Like, it is a game that's worth playing. And yeah, th that's about it. Uh, let's see, other than that, um, that's it for my week. So let's head into, well, the end. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbsgmail.com. Com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. Yes, you can also catch us on PonyVLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio, where over there you can catch me, Silver Quill, Sever Heart Song, and also Torterra reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and also movies. Sometimes we like to divert from doing ponies, like animes, cartoons, and video games. The last time we did a cartoon, that was... Um, spoilers for what's going on this week. Uh, we did Pokemons, the third movie. Um, Pokemon 2000? Um... Legend of the Unknown, I, I, I don't really know the title because that title's all over the place. So yeah, we did the Pokemon thing. So yay. Check that one out. That was a lot of fun. So anyway, also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes. No, no I, I read that. Moving on to the next one. Uh, if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Jeffrey, and also myself. Like, thank you so much, guys. You're great. So, anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.